That's right. This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, Chef Kyle joins us from Trio Restaurant. We're making a healthy and hearty dish for you to cap off the week. Roasted chicken with spring vegetables. Hearing spring just puts you in a good mood. Sure does. It'll be here before you know it. Yep. Uh, and before we get to the exact ingredients that we need, you were talking about sourcing locally, and, and everything is of high quality. Yeah, absolutely. We try to get um, as many products as possible from uh, the Farm Fresh program out of Pawtucket. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty much everything you see here is... Uh, within 25 miles of the restaurant. We love to hear that and people kind of flock towards that if they Absolutely. know that it's grown in their own backyard. So what do we need for this recipe? All right, so uh, we're gonna start with a fryer chicken. Um, it's been broken down into quarters. So we take mm -hmm. the um, the breast and the leg. That'll uh, help with cooking time, I assume. Yeah, absolutely, too. Yeah. it cuts the cooking time down, lets the skin get nice and crispy um, without drying out. Great. Uh, and then we have uh, some vegetables. So you can use any spring vegetables, really. Uh, today we're using baby carrots, um, some baby radishes, mm -hmm. and uh, they scallion. And they are so cute and little. <laughs> yeah, look at those little things. Um, and then we have some fingerling potatoes. And uh, you're just going to finish it up with some uh, butter and fresh herbs. Mm. Butter um, and herbs, good yeah. combination. Yeah, you can't, I mean, can't butter makes that. better. Yeah, so I know we got some butter in this recipe, but fairly healthy for the most part. You get those benefits from the chicken and the yeah, vegetables. I mean, it's all vegetables, really, great. Um, really fresh local vegetables. So, and you can, once again, use uh, whatever you want to, mm -hmm. to really create this dish. Yeah. yeah, whatever you're finding in your backyard or in your store, we'll get cooking in just a bit. Now, my pal, my longtime amigo, Will Gilbert's in the kitchen. Now, the great part of this job is having some of the best restaurants in the state come in here every single day and being able to try their food. Chef Kyle Stamps is here. Trio Restaurant is place roasted chicken with spring vegetables is what we're putting together. Great to have you here today. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming in. Now, you got this hot cast iron pan. Yeah, it's getting nice and hot. We're going to make this get nice and crispy on this chicken. And that's uh, one of the keys, too. You want to seal everything in, too, right? Absolutely, yeah. So one of the tricks, too, is you want to pat your chicken dry. So I just take a paper towel and tap it, mm -hmm. just pat it. Uh, this way the skin's nice dry, I'll get a nice beautiful sear on that and we'll season it. Salt and pepper. And once again, this pan's already nice and hot, mm -hmm. so um, just get some oil in there. You cook on a cast iron pan and everything tastes, it tastes better. Cast iron just makes everything nice and even yeah. and it just like holds in all the flavor. Right. You'll hear that sizzle when that gets put down. And so you just want to push the chicken, you want to push it right that down so you, the more surface area you get on the skin, the crispier it will be. Okay. And same, I already have the oven preheated to like 400 degrees. Right. Um, so we'll just put some seasoning in here just to flavor the oil. And look some at garlic cloves and thyme. Even all the veggies that you that you brought in here today, they're beautiful. Yeah, there are some really nice stuff from some local farms. Uh, the carrots are from Shartner Farms. Same, even this chicken is from Buffoni Farms in oh, Johnston. Okay. Um, the radishes are from Ward's Berry Farm right in southern Massachusetts. Right. Uh, so we just have some like some great stuff coming in, especially the springtime is my favorite time to cook. Now how long how long should that um, This is gonna be? take about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. You just want to cook it to 155 degrees. Got it. And then when you take it out and you let it carry over and just keep it right on that skin side the whole time. Yeah, because because sometimes chicken, you know, it can be it can be weird. You you don't want to overcook it because then it's it's like rubber. You don't want to overcook it, but um, you need to make sure you cook it right. Yeah, yeah, you, so, made, you need to make sure that it's cooked right. So 155 degrees, you take it out and it'll carry right over to 165 degrees. It will make it nice and safe to eat All right. and keep the the thigh nice and tender. All right, sounds good. He's still on the bone there. We've got that in there. It is going to be a great dish that we'll uh, we'll put together. We will also talk about the restaurant and the event down there in Narragansett. Sounds like a lot of fun. Back to you. We are back in the Roadshow uh, Kitchen, and Chef Kyle Stamps is here from Trio Restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we've got roasted chicken with spring vegetables, and it looks great. It smells great. All fresh veg veggies get it get you in the, the mood for spring, too. Mm -hmm. Spring which is, is nice. in the air. Oh, not soon on enough. It's a nice, dreary day. Yeah, yeah. not soon enough. Yeah. All right, so what do you got going on? All right, so we're going to start the vegetables for this dish. Mm -hmm. uh, chicken's almost done in the oven. So same, nice hot pan. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right, so all these cool. vegetables are par-cooked. Um, mm -hmm. So... They are pretty much ready to go. So with these potatoes, we're just going to put them all skin side down and get them nice and crispy. Okay. I like that you par cook things because this is great prep work that you can do maybe if you're having some friends over this weekend. Par cook exactly. some stuff and then just throw it together. It still tastes See, nice I mean, and hot. Meal prepping is one of those things that everybody's doing now, you know. So mm -hmm. like on a Saturday or Sunday, yeah. you yeah. can prep your meal for the whole week. And get your kids involved too. Yeah. They love to cook. It's good. It's and a good lesson. Nice, and easy hey, recipe. if you can get a couple extra hands to it always make helps. the work easier. Always helps. All right, so, so while these potatoes are getting crispy, we'll just take this chicken out. We'll just okay. give it a check here. Time uh, and temp good. on that, Chef? Uh, the oven's at 400 degrees. Okay. Um, so with the chicken sear, you sear for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to come out probably 15, 20 minutes. Um, same, 155 degrees. So um, 
The chicken's just stayed on that skin side. Ooh, look at that. That mm. looks great. Nice and crispy. It smells amazing. Yeah, the thyme and garlic really bring out like the flavor of the chicken. But you um, don't need much more than that. No, that's all you need. Yeah. So that nice was so easy. good. Uh, so these potatoes just getting nice and brown. On, so you can tell once they start loosening up from the pan, that's when they'll be ready to go. Okay. Um, so same, as those are crisping up, uh, you can start putting in your other vegetables around the potatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, so carrots we have the baby carrots. They're trashes. so tiny. So same thing, I just started these in some cold salted water. Um, just bought them up to a simmer and then turned the water off and they're they're pretty much like nice and tender all the way through. They still mm -hmm. have a little crunch to them. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, so you guys so are getting ready for restaurant week coming up. Restaurant week's right on the corner, March 23rd down in Narragansett. Wow. That yes. will be here before you know sure. it. Yep. Yeah, March comes really quickly, and then it's summertime, mm -hmm. and the beaches will be crazy. Yeah. And, well, also, um, it's nice to have that boom and hit Narragansett even before uh, absolutely. beach season. It's also so nice just to be able to go down near the water. There's something yeah, about have, being having some, a yeah. great meal. Even down if you're by in a big the, winter coat. Even if you're in a big winter coat, it doesn't matter. Just right. the smell of the ocean and being down there is always good. And we have that great outdoor bar down there, so you can go and enjoy some great food Ooh, while you're sitting right. down and watching the water and watching people walk by. Yep. That sounds nice. All right, so these potatoes are nice and brown now. Um, so we're just gonna add some scallions uh, and some fresh herbs. You're keeping the scallions large. I just like yeah. to keep them nice and whole. They add like a lot of onion flavor, uh -huh. um, but not too much. And then if you get them a little bit charred and brown on the on the side, same will bring out a lot of sweetness in the vegetables. Okay. Um, so once these are getting warm through, uh, you're just gonna touch a touch of water. Okay. So that's going to help steam everything right through. And then we're just going to finish it with some Ooh. butter. So once it comes to a simmer, you're just going to take it off the heat and you're mixing your butter. And what this is going to do is create a nice pan sauce. Mm. Getting steamy in here. That water helps too to kind of loosen some things up. Same, it'll take all the flavor mm -hmm. from like the potatoes that have like been cooking off, off right off the pan. It also brings out all the colors too. Yeah, okay. so look, so now, it, now it's yeah. creating a nice glaze. You can see that the butter is just making the sauce nice and thick. Mm. And then from here we can go right to the plate, and this will be like a nice favorite for the family in the spring. All right, tell nice, us about tell nice us about the uh, sauce. tell us about the restaurant too down there. Uh, so Trio is a, a great uh, family style restaurant. You know, we just did a big renovation on our bar down there, mm -hmm. um, so it's really welcoming. Um, uh, a lot of seats for uh, there's probably we doubled the the bar area. Mm. I um, like sitting at the bar and having a meal. Nothing wrong with that. Or yeah, drinking wrong. an app or something. And we have a lot of great stuff, you know, if you want to go sit by yourself and have a, like we have steak frites on the menu, so it's a nice, like, really approachable, simple mm. food. Um, and same, we're just doing our, I'm doing my first menu change. I just started there a few months ago. Um, so, we're doing it our seems first like menu you're change. right in. That, that yeah, so delicious. we are just getting, we're just uh, jumping in, like, feet first, you know? Yeah. So good. So you just, I just like to crisscross it. Dish. You have a nice crispy chicken skin, and you can just finish it. All this, this is all just good flavor. So wow, don't waste Feel any of that. Just on put that all that right on there. Now that, that is looks a good meal. Delicious. That looks yes, so it so does. good. Thanks so much, Cuff. Yeah, absolutely. Thank yeah. you for having great me. Great job. Really good. Awesome yeah. recipe, and you can get this to try it at home at roadshow.com.